Kid Cudi dropped the track, dude. I'm very excited. I have no idea what this is going to sound like. I heard that he dropped it in 2012, actually. He didn't drop it in 2012. I think he performed it in 2012, but I had just never heard it. And so um, he actually officially released it now and people are really loving this. My name is Doug, welcome to the channel. I'm very happy to see you guys here again today. And we'll be listening to Leader of the Delinquents by Kid Cudi and uh, giving my thoughts on it. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time with an introduction. Let's jump right into it and listen to some music. Check. say shoot my face off uh, I'm talking game over defeat the boss so like is he the villain in his own story is that what he's saying that's really dark Wow Yo, he just called himself the villain. Basically, the boss of any video game is the villain, right? He's the bad guy and he's saying sometimes he feels like the bad guy in his own story um, That is first of all that's really relatable. I think you know, it's um Something that anybody who struggles with, with bouts of depression will will relate to, for sure. Uh, and he's always been very open about his uh, mental health and, and things like that. <clears throat> and honestly, he took a lot of flack for it. And I don't think that that was cool at all. Um, especially in a time when people weren't so open about this type of stuff. He's, he's always really been very, very open about talking about how he felt and, and, and you know, battling his depression and, and things like that. So I commend him for that. Uh, but that is a really dark line, you know, that's a really heavy bar if you think about the fact that he's talking about himself like he wants to finish his own story because he feels like he is the villain that is doing him, him harm, you know, so that's really crazy. It's kind of tough, I don't see how they did the it in the 80s. My angels ride for me. The leader of the broke up with this girl. She was tripping, couldn't understand my life in the world. I kept it just by. It's a really good song. I think that he talks a lot about, um, Things that people might relate to because there is, there's even a bar here where he says why do the kids like Cutter so much because they relate to him real simple and he's always been really easy to relate to because of how open he is about his struggles and, and the things that he uh, he feels are going well and the things that aren't going so well in his life and so that's always made him a really relatable artist and so that's kind of what he's giving us here is just a little bit more of himself right his story talking about his his battle with his depression talking about uh, his love life and how he broke up with this girl because he felt like she wouldn't understand him and things like that and and the fact that he talks about those things in the track kind of make him the leader of the delinquents or this this celebrity that people who are going through the same thing can look up to and can relate to and so i think that that's kind of meta almost you know the fact that he is the leader of the delinquents because he's open in his music uh, and he's being open in the track where he explains that that makes him the leader of the delinquents. You know, I think that that's a little bit meta and I think that that's interesting. I think that it's cool. Uh, it's got a really cool little beat. It's got a really nice little um, melody going on. Very simple little melody. I, I think it's a piano that's going ding, 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 ding in the, in the background, which makes it, you know, it gives it a little bit of a touch of like a brightness, a little bit of melody to the track where he is predominantly rapping and the focus is really on the drums. Uh, and, and we get these kind of like a little bit older sounding not boom bap drums, but uh, rap drums. They're not necessarily trap drums, you know what I mean? Velocity is, is fluctuating in the hi-hats to kind of give it a little bit of a bounce. We have a really bouncy kick pattern, uh, a very boxy kind of snare sound, and, and all of it is just really making a, uh, a really dope rap track from Kid Cudi. It's not necessarily the trap drums with the really harmonious humming in the background and not, nothing like that. This is more of a straight rap, let me tell you about my life, and why I feel like I'm the leader of these delinquents and why they can look up to me sort of track. I think it's really cool. And I think that it might be leading up to something really, really, really great. Um, maybe he's dropping an album soon or anything like that. That would be so sick, dude. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't think that this track is great or anything like that, um, but it is a really solid track. It's a very solid performance from Kid Cudi. And I like it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, those are my thoughts on this track. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below for sure. 
And um, yeah, thank you so much for the support that you've shown the channel. Uh, you can like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow me on my social media, become a patron or a member on the channel if you want to support the channel with a monthly donation. That really helps me to keep these videos coming as often as possible. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown. I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands, uh, take care of your loved ones, enjoy the time that you have with your family in this moment. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Peace out.